It started back in about 1994. We lived in New Jersey and my husband was a managing partner of a, a law firm. We were very successful. Um, and we had gone on vacation and we got a phone call that there was something going on at the firm and it, it didn't look good for him. So when we got back to the States and he got back into the office, he realized that one of his dearest friends and one of the, his colleagues, one of the partners had literally betrayed him and he had lost his position as the managing partner. We moved on and we thought everything would be great. You know, he's highly qualified. He had all these um, natural skills. And so we had all our faith in, in his ability to, to do things and to uh, move on to success. He sent out resumes. Um, we were just waiting for that call and slowly uh, months you know, one month turned into two months, and then they just continued to add up till we, it was years down the road. We were a couple of years down the road, um, and it was starting to get really dark in our lives. Um, we had liquidated everything basically that we could um, to make ends meet. We were faced with financial devastation, and I mean, we, we our home was going into foreclosure. We had hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, and without a miracle from God, there was just no way that we were going to make it. I had reached like the very bottom. I was truly, I was depressed. We were, we were destitute. Um, we had family challenges with, with, with our children. And just, it was just, it was a dark, dark place. And I remember um, I was, one night I was sitting up in my bedroom, just, just didn't even want to get up out of bed. And um, he was down in the basement watching TV, and he, come, he came running upstairs, and he said, you have got to come hear this man on TV. You've got to come hear him. And so I reluctantly got up. I went downstairs, and I'm just standing there. And the first thing I hear come out of this man, this roaring voice, is um, Jeremiah 29, 11, that says, I know the thoughts and plans I have for you, says the Lord, thoughts to give you hope and, and a good outcome. And so that was like a ray of light. I had hope and it just went off in my spirit. I, I wasn't jumping for joy, but I had this little ray of hope and I knew that things were going to be okay. Well, things continued to progress, you know, in a negative way. And I just remember crying and just saying, Lord, I don't even want to live. I mean, I did on one hand, I knew I'd been saved when I was seven years old. I knew God was the answer, but sometimes you can get so far down, you know, he's the answer, but it's just, it feels impossible um, to come out. But I just want to tell you, it's never impossible. You're never too far gone. I mean, God has a great plan for your life. And so I heard uh, someone say, don't ever take your life, give your life, give everything you have to, to the Lord, to Jesus, and, and he'll make, he'll give you beauty for those ashes and he'll make it beautiful. And I said, Lord, here it is. This is all, this is all I've got left. If you can do anything with it, then take it. And uh, that was a turning point for me. At that point, um, I really started to dig into the word. I started to just build my faith. I, I, I listened to everything that I could that was faith-filled, Jesus-filled messages, and I started to grow. And it wasn't long before my husband got on board with me and we realized that this was a spiritual battle that we were in. God had a call on our life and we were going to fulfill this call. One morning I was watching Kenneth Copeland because he, he was such a, a rock for us and, and taught us faith. He said, stop looking for that thing. Stop looking for your job. Literally, he said, stop looking for your job. And he said, look, pray, ask God the church about the church that you're supposed to be in. And he said, when you find that, he said, everything you need will be there. And in searching for churches, we wound up here at Turning Point. And so um, we love this place. And now God has just, he has just begun to confirm everything. And it's like now we've plugged in to that, that power source. Um, we, we, the Lord gave us our own business. We, we, uh, we started that business. We sold that business. We're starting another business. Our children are being restored. Our family is being restored and every single thing that the enemy stole from us is coming back. And so what I want to leave you with is no matter where you're at, 
no matter what you're going through, God has the perfect plan for you. Don't give up. You're never too far gone. It's never too dark. It's never too late. Whatever it is, just give it to the Lord. Give it to Jesus. Hand it over to Him. Trust Him. And I, I promise you, based on His Word, He will restore you and He will give you the beauty for ashes that He promises in His Word.